Well, they're working on it. I don't know what they're going to do for the base. Because this could get muddy fast once the growth wears out. And here is the logging trail, one that I didn't see. They have most of this cleared out pretty good, I guess. But let me point it out. It'll go up here, looks like, and you know, follow up here to the top and then top of Cerro Ridge. And that, I think, is where it levels out where I just came from. And then, of course, down the other side of Tunnel Hill Trail. through this part of the tunnel. Hi there, how you doing? Hey, decided to come out here to Paw Paw, to the Paw Paw Tunnel and check it out while it's still open. It's uh, February about the 18th, I think, and the tunnel is still open today. I saw some construction, and I'll post that here later in this video. And uh, they're starting to construct a little bridge, which is uh, crossing the canal on the uh, west side. So, uh, so right now, 18th of February, the tunnel is still open. I haven't seen any construction equipment here at all, so but pretty pretty soon according to the website. So anyway, today I'm going to go up the uh, trail and see what it's like. Try to take some photos and some short video clips. Well, I'm here today, February the 18th, and I'm going to be uh, going up the Tunnel Hill Trail and take some video clips. It does not look that bad. You have to push it, so it's not that bad. Actually, so far, this is not a bad trail. I mean, you have to push your bike because it says no biking. They said you can push your bike. Actually, they recommend that. But so far, the first part here, it's not bad. And I'm even holding my camera, I'm pushing. Anyway, the trail goes to your left, so it goes up. Yeah, it might be a little uh, strenuous. Sweaty, hot, but today 70, 75 degrees, middle of February. I'll take this. Here's what the trail looks like. It's not bad.
they have these series of switchbacks makes it a much better easier at least on the east side just have to take your time all part of the experience After this, I can say I've hiked, pushed a bike, loaded bike on the Tunnel Hill Trail. Switchbacks, I mean. It wasn't a bad track, even with a pushed, loaded bike. Good view, but I think it goes further, so we'll see. They're going downhill now, some. It says no biking. Path is certainly wide enough. Something. Almost like a log trail. May have been at one time. And I just turned it into a hiking trail. Levels off here. I don't know if we're at the top or not, but it's easy, easy hike, easy walk, easy push your bike. Okay, I don't think we're there yet. I think straight in front of us would be the tunnel. Sorry if I get my bike mirror in the way sometimes. I'm going to stop here for a second and pan around. A little ravine here, a little gully.
few rocks, ruts, low spots, just have to watch yourself, just a casual walk, push a bike, branches, hopefully these recordings, clips will come out okay. Alright, push some more. Okay, now we come up to a little bit more grade. Just stop as many times as you have to. Scan down through here once. Up we go more effort all right keep pushing here we go one-handed push hold the video camera with one hand push with the other okay push 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 here we go Not there yet. This is say the hardest part. <clears throat> First part wasn't too bad. Just a little more exerting here. All right, push again. Push, push, push. You have to be careful, there's a little bit of... ...metal. Drainage pipe in the way. Starting to see some mountaintop views in the distance. Oh. 
that gully. I believe we'll get up here, have a pretty good view, mountaintop view, probably even see down over the Potomac. Because it would be on our south side. Okay. All right, push, push, push. Here we go. My calf muscles will be tight today. <sighs> okay, one thing they need here, I think, is the park benches to stop along the way. You anyway. Well, I see a gate. Maybe that means we're close. Well, I guess who needs park bench when you got a log? Okay. Top of Sorrel Ridge. Okay, we're trying to get through here. Have to move the bike a little bit. Well, baby, you made it this far. Well, that deserves a ring or two. Okay, we're up on the flat part, on top of Sorrel Ridge. Yeah, we're on top of Sorrel Ridge now. Climbed 362 feet from the tunnel level. And the top is a clearing of Sorrel Ridge, and it comes with up to this marker. It says the Paw Paw Tunnel Hill Trail is down to the left. But from reading on the website that they posted, um, they're opened a logging trail, and I believe that is this trail straight ahead. It's supposed to be a less of an incline for bikers, through bikers. So, I'm gonna follow that. I'm not gonna go down the tunnel hillside, but I guess it could. Um, it's gonna be much like uh, what I came up, I believe, but I think it's uh, steeper. 
So let's take the logging trail and see if it's open. This part you could actually ride your bike because you're no longer on the Tunnel Hill Trail. There's the river down there. Now if this is the cutover, it's milder grade, it seems like it anyway.
I would say this is probably not it. Okay, so I took that straight dirt road path out instead of turning left uh, to go back down the other side of uh, Tunnel Hill Trail. I came out to this asphalt road, so don't take that way. Alright, he said turn left, so that's what I'll do. Hey, that's where the parking lot is over there. Well, I'm back where I started, but when I finally got up on the top on Sore Ridge by taking the Tunnel Hill Trail, um, instead of going back down the Tunnel Hill Trail, I kept taking that straight dirt road, which I thought was the logging road that was mentioned in the CNO uh, website, but it was not. It actually, well, maybe was, but it, I didn't see any paths leading to the canal. Um, it actually took me down to Malcolm Road, and then I had turned left. There was a house straight ahead, and I turned left, and followed that down for about a mile. That's coast, coasted all the way down, and then I turned left. And I think that was going south on 51. Hi there. I want to clarify something. Uh, when I went up to Paw Paw today and I went through the tunnel, the tunnel was still open today. Uh, I didn't see any construction equipment or even getting near ready to do it other than they're constructing the bridge over the canal part. Uh, up through the woods there on your left if you're heading towards the uh, tunnel, the Papa Tunnel. Anyways, uh, I went through the tunnel just as normal and it was open. A lot of people were through there. Actually, I spoke with a lot of people and not a single one knew that the uh, tunnel was going to be shut down until at least the end of July for the rock scaling project, removing that rock. Anyways, in, in the video, I, I showed you... Uh, what it looked like but when I went through the tunnel I climbed, I went ahead and pushed my bike my loaded bike uh, up the tunnel hill trail it was quite a ordeal I mean only because maybe because I was taping recording uh, my smartphone on one hand and pushing with the other hand uh, it would have been probably easier with free hands on both sides um, but after about three quarters of a mile you know, of switchbacks um, it still it, it got actually kind of uh, steeper about eight to ten percent grade uh, some places But it wasn't overly hard. Uh, yeah, it was a little strenuous if you're not uh, really fit uh, Average person like myself who's fit um, Yeah, I didn't have any, any problems. I just got winded some so I stopped and re rested but when I finally got to the top, it, it levels out, and you'll see a little placard on the right talking about, hey, this is Sorrel Ridge. Um, anyways, just ahead a little further, you'll see a marker, and the Tunnel Hill Trail then goes back down to your left. Um, I should have traveled back down the Sorrel Hill Ridge Trail, pardon me, the Tunnel Hill Trail, and that would have, at some point, I believe, connected back with the new logging trail that the CNO folks uh, talked about on their map, which would then have went down to that little uh, wooden bridge or building. But instead, I went from the Sorrel Ridge, the level on the top part, um, 
there was a road, a dirt road going straight. Instead of turning left down the Tunnel Hill Trail, I followed that dirt road all the way down. I wasn't 100% sure where it would lead me, but uh, it uh, came out to the, about a mile or so down. It came out onto a paved road, Malcolm Road. There's no signs that I saw, but turn left if you're going to do this, and you do it at your own risk. Uh, you know, obviously, if there's any children, uh, I certainly would not recommend it. You know, uh, you're traveling at your own risk if, if, if you do this. Uh, so, but if you go down the dirt road uh, at the end, turn left on the paved road, that's Malcolm Road, and then it'll coast all the way down, a nice easy coast, uh, for about another mile, mile and a half, and then you'll turn left onto the two-way road, which is Route 51 uh, left, which would put you on Route 51 south, I believe it is, Old Town Road. Again, I didn't see any road, uh, road signs, but uh, turn left onto the uh, two-way road, and I just followed that uh, up. It's about a, a three-quarters, maybe half a mile climb, about 5%. It uh, wasn't super bad, but I got winded a little bit, so I pushed the rest of the, my bike rest of the way up to the top. And then after that, you just coast all the way down for about another mile or so, uh, down until you'll see the uh, bike path on your right. So then you want to get off of that. It's a very sharp right. And then just uh, go down underneath the aqueduct and follow the uh, aqueduct down to your right. And you'll pass the CNO parking lot. You'll see some cars over there. And it'll connect you back with the CNO. It'll, it's a little path from the parking lot to the CNO for about six tenths of a mile. And that'll put you back at about mile marker 156. All right, I hope uh, you have good luck. Again, the uh, climb on the trail wasn't super bad. Uh, it was fairly easy, you know, uh, for the first three quarters of a mile going from the east side over to the west side. Uh, but there were some times, some parts of it there, even though there were switchbacks, uh, they're about eight, probably 10% greater or better. Uh, just had to, you know, push it a little bit and rest. Uh, nowhere really to sit down, other than until you get to the top, you'll see some logs. But uh, good luck.